a consists a cogat and a cogat account of the faith of the faith of the Catholic and Apostolic Church DVD. We have discussed the various multiform, much divided, grass teachings of the cook consuls of our opponents have distinguished them by species and genus, and by God's power has exposed them as still and worthless. We have sailed across the soulless, early, the soulless sea of the blessed babies of each sect, with great difficulty crossed the ocean of the blessed babies, sinful, repulsive mysteries, given the solution to the cause of problems and best their weakness by. And we have approached the calm lands of the truth after negotiating every rough place, enduring every square, forming and tossing of pillows, and as it were, seeing if we squall, for as it were, seeing the swell of sea, of the sea, and its wakefuls, its cellars none too small, and its places full of dangerous ways, and experiencing them through their words, and now. Starting the heaven of peace, we make a supplication to the Lord once more in prayer, as we hasten to learn of it. Now, as we recover from our, from all our fear, distress, and illness, as we inhale the mandolin breezes with the utmost relief, and as we have come to safety and won our way to the calm harbor, we rejoice of already in our spirits. If the truth must be told, must be told, we have won many hardships in all of this, and no like it treatment, and we have met and sailed, as it were, across land and sea, the earth ra the earth the earth's rock mountains and the such was was this and the barriers of the deep which we have mentioned. Let us hasten to the city the moment we spy it, the holy Jerusalem and Christ Virgin and Bride, the firm foundation and rock, our holy mother but Christ bride. At this most auspicious moment let us also say Let us come up, let us go up to the to the mountain of the Lord and of and the house of the God of Jacob, and his soul teaches teach us his way in soul. Now then, children of Christ and sons of God and sons of God's holy church, who have read through this compilation of the eighty six of, 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 of a part of them, who have joined me in blowing to through such a mass of the weakness weak doctrines and marching across such a vast desert, faithful and lightly set down, as though we were in Mara and thirsty from the fearful trailers west, let us let us camp call upon the Lord of all, for we have always been in need of him in every part of the sex. In our continual encounters with the obscurities, let us cry out ourselves, like us, like us the heart, the side of the, the water books, so long my soul of the thee, O oh God. And again, when we sa when shall I come to appear before the presence of God? Therefore, let us ourselves be quick to call upon Him, not as He called the bride, for He is a, for He is her bridegroom, Lord, Master, King, God, and Champion. But let us call upon Him as His servants, and ourselves will say, in unison with Him, He took from Lebanon of bride. For thou art all fair, and there is no spot in thee. She is the good builder's curtain, the city of the holy king, the bride of the unsported Christ, the pure virgin betrothed in faith into one husband alone. She, who is illustrious and brief, broad as the doubt, fair as the moon, choice, the, choice as the sun, terrible as sacred ranks. She, who is called blessed by the queens, and him by the concubines. She is blessed by the daughters and come from the wilderness, made from the from the wilderness, made white and learning upon her sister's son. He ex he ex exudes mix and come from the wilderness, exuding like pillars of smoke, mix and frankincense from the powders of the perfumer. Who have given his own sec his own seed several he who ha who he whom she also and said on men brought out is thy name, therefore the maidens have loved thee. She stand at the king's right hand, 
she standard at the king's right hand clad in fring in fring garments cunningly adorned with garments interwoven with gold there is no darkness in her thought what she had was black now but now she swear and made white thus on entering you we shall recover from the hateful pains of the deeds and of the sex that once the once sought to us shall have respite from the tossing of the billows and be truly refreshed in in you our holy mother the church in the sacred god treat that is in you and god's soul to faith by the soul begin describing the wonders of the of this holy city of god for glorious things have been spoken of her as the prophet said glorious things have been spoken of the O city of god they are beyond in the reach of all inaccessible to unbelievers but are obtainable in part with the promise of fullness by the faithful and true and will be provided by the master in the kingdom of heaven where with her own heavenly bridegroom his holy virgin and heiress has and heiress herself obtain he her portion and inheritance in the first place the god who is all over is god who is all over who is all over all is god to us who have been born of this holy church this is the first proof of the truth and the ground of the faith of this only virgin holy and humblest dove whom the lord revealed in the spirit to solomon the song of songs and said there are three scott queens and four scott concubines and maidens without number but one is my dove my perfect one be the addition of my and my for she he is love for she is he, for she is his dove and his perfect one since the other are said to be and are not why she herself is named twice he did not say they they are my active concurrence of the goddess of the others he awarded the quiz their honorable connection with him to the glorious name by the concurrence he declared their complete for an age when I know the numbers, I am obliged to investigate the passage by the analogical method of the spirit interpretation so as not to pass them by. I am not exaggerating, but truly comparing words with their two spiritual sense, senses by means of the two spirit scriptures. For it is plain that the number of each thing is in scripture is untouchable, and that nothing and that nothing which is assigned a number can be without value or be reduced to reduce to a number in the scripture for no good reason. Now, queens and the ones named earlier in earlier on in a genealogy. For what throngs accompany a king, but the king is still the head. So just as one man will be identified by his head, although there are many members in the body, the entire throng of the king's subjects will be gone as one to the one king. Now, a generation is in Christ is called queen, not because the whole generation good, but because the one generation which knew the Lord is elevated to the royal rank and statu status by the name of its husband. For example, Adam and his whole generation are to be counted as this, a queen, brought his rule, the ruling family which reigned with him because of his knowledge of God, his privilege of being the first man created. And because he was given the first, the first pants, and as the sacred souls, after then, after him came Seth, and all the humankind with him, and Enos, Canaan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah. This holy man, this holy man, having listed individually by number, one generation after another, and the and the number of them is given in Matthew. For in Matthew there are sixty two generations and lineages lineage listed under the names of the wise men who had the knowledge of God or said the royal glory and dignity because of some other excellence. The role of the number of them goes on until the incarnation of Christ. For ten generations passed between Adam and Noah and another ten, and another ten between Noah and Abraham. But there were fourteen generations from Abraham until David, fourteen generations from David until the captivity, and fourteen generations from the captivity until Christ. So that there are sixty-two generations from Adam to Christ, and they are gold, and they are, and they are rounded off to sixty. For although there were seventy-two palm trees, 
For although there are 70 Utu palm trees in the wilderness, scripture called them 70. And although the 70, the 70 men were called to the mount with Eldad and Medad, they are 72. And there were 72 translators under Ptolemy, but to round this, but to round this off, we customarily speak of the Septuagint, Septuagint version. Here too, I believe it says 60 queens with the, om with the omission of the first and the last bit of the C table of the middle of the middle 60 for types and analog analogical treatment of the of the entire subject. For since the length of time between Adam and Christ is counted by 60 tens, by, by six tens, but the number, but the time of the increase was correspondingly over in six days. The number six seems a suitable one for the link, for the linking of a throng of holy sons of the holy souls from every generation who have reigned in God by faith. Thus, there are six uh, six tons. Six ton water jar at Khan and Galilee, with, which were emptied and filled again by holding two or three virgins apiece. They symbolize the amounts of the Old and New Testaments and the whole of the Trinity. They were changed from water into unmixed wine and filled from the good cheer of a wedding and the sons of men. And so the pagan writings speak of hex a hexagon which multiplied to 21 and by 3 and 7. The significance of this hexagon is the same as the whole visible fold of the universe since its rectangular base has a photo side, as it were, and the covering over the folding on top makes six. But, but not to go on too long, I rest contest once more with what I have said about the sixty six sequence counted up with the Christ incarnation. But after Christ and until now, there are still generations as is known only the, to, the, to the Lord. No one has reported or arranged the numbers of my generation and any further because the number of this sort of thing has been sealed and closed by the number of the queens which is counted, con which is counted up to the incarnation itself. For the rest and the latter of those rhetoricians, analysis or historians no longer count generation by successions and times of the emperors according to the number of the years of each emperor's reign. From from all this, the wise will be, will easily understand that even without this inquiry, all time is divided into the sixty-two, into the sixty-two generations until up the sixty generations up until Christ. For to Christ, the, the world's time period are no longer counted by lineages in this way, since the number of them is summed up. Is one unified whole which, by God's holy, by God's good pleasure, indicates an unshakable state. This unity will make it evident that the end of the age is separated from time and will be over the transition to the age to come. This is why he says, "One is my dove, my perfect one." All things are complete in her, whether they are times and seasons. Yes. And intervals of generations, and whether the age counts is that of emperors, consuls, olympiads, or governorships. But the earthly consequences who were to be found among the queens before the earthly reign, that is, the reign of the faith or in its and this bride, the virgin herself, who is unspotted a dove, and, on, and the only daughter of her mother, even if, even of her, even of her that were her. For the church is engendered by one faith and born with the help of the Holy Spirit and is the only daughter of the only mother and the one daughter of her that bore her and all the women has who came after and before her ha and before her have been called concubines. They have not been entire strangers to the covenant inheritance but have not started state glory and are receptors of the Holy Spirit but have only an illicit union with the world, for the Hebrew language gave a good explanation of the concubine by calling her Pelegesta. Peleg means half, and this star is a wife, which is which is as much as to say that she is half a wife. In so far, in so far as he as he has come to the Lord, he called he called all to the like 
to the light of liberty saying while he, while you have the light with you walk in the light and the holy apostle says ye are ye are children of the day and and children of the light and again it is said in the second scripture he that does evil had the light neither come unto the light and similarly even those concubines who are who are not knowledge of, of full wives and are not married with their adultery by their husbands have carnal relations with her husband with their husbands they cannot have the honor title security marriage portion wedding gifts their status and legitimacy of the free wife and so as i have said the sex i have listed in succession of 80 concubines but no one need be surprised if each of them is given different names in each ev in every country what is more we must observe that each sect in third has frequently divided into many parts of on its own and the names of them are different this is no surprise that's the way things are but i find 81 one more than 80 because of the word is who is different from them all but is but is the only alluded to be bright groom or knowledge by him with such a names as one is my dove and again my perfect one in other words other concomments are low born and cannot recount as harmless and pure and, pure and gentle there are concubines then from the ones that follow that follow the so-called barbarism and schizianism in the beginning down to the mass the massilians of whom we have spoke we have just spoken 77 in all and the source of the pagan sex hellenism and judaism the source of the jewish and the samaritan sect the source of the samaritan when these three are added to the 77 the sum is 80 and the one is left namely the holy catholic church christianity by the will of the father and the son and the holy spirit christianity was in fact named from the beginning was adam was with adam and before adam and before all the ages with christ and was believed by all who have pleased God in every generation. And it was plainly revealed in the world at Christ's, com com and at Christ's coming. And I now sing its praises once more after all the sex, the, one we, the ones we call concubines following the order of the deities. Further, what himself counted the sex like this in the Song of Songs, when he said, Ecti Queens and ethnic concubines and maidens without number but one she says is my dove my perfect one the one the, the one daughter of her mother he lack for her that bore of that bore her and he let her source how all how will we find her the most honored of them all the mistress of them all and his only choice the one whose children are the king's heirs the legitimate children for they are, chi they are children of the promise and not children of the bondmaid, of the concubine, or of the other of the or of the others, whose description is endless. For every for even to Ab Abraham had children by by the concubine Ketura, Ketura's children were not joined hers with Isaac. They received gifts, however, like gifts of a governor to make sure. To make sure that the time the time would be preserved for the, for the anagogical interpretation of the text, and that no one would despair of Christ's calling. For the gifts of Abraham gave Ishmael and Keturah's sons, Keturah's sons were a type of the good of the good ta things to come, for the conversion and the Gentiles to the faith and that and truth. For Abraham gave Hagar a bondman and cast out by Abraham, she was like the Jerusalem below who was in the bondage by the children of whom it, it, is, it, it is said, I cast out the mother and again I gave the bill of divorcement into her hands. Abraham gave this bondman, I mean Hagar, a skinful, a skinful of water, the mug of type, of a type because of the hope of her confession. This was to show the power of the lower generation which have been given to, un to unbelievers for gift of life, 
and for the confession of all the, uh, the hidden to the knowledge of the truth. But Abraham's gift to the to Keturah's children were worth God's silver clothing and whatever Abraham secretly hid in the wallets, the frankincense, frankincense myrrh and gold. Of the companions of the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah, which had been plundered by Keturah Lomer's allies, they had taken prisoners from Sodom, Gomorrah, and other towns, had met off with the with a uh, met off with the horses, captured most of the people, and seized the wealth and position as king and the and the great part of the orders. Abraham got Abraham got all this back from the shoulder of the kings at the time, but he did not dare to return things already reserved reserved for the Lord. Lord for the Lord, for the Lord God, and instead, as I find that in traditions of the Hebrews, gave them as gifts along with her, with his other gifts to his son by to his sons by Keturah. The children of Abraham by Keturah were cast out by Abraham and settled in Magodia in Arabia. The same gifts were offered to cast in Bethlehem by the Magi who came for their land, and when they had seen the star and come over presents and gifts in order to serve in the same hope. The prophet gives plain indication of these gifts by saying, Before the child is able to cry father or mother, he shall take the power of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria before the king of the Assyrians. For as I said, they were taken from Damascus in Abraham's time and from Samaria by the kings on the head on the gate. Now when did Christ received them before he could cry father of, mo of mother, father of mother, except when the Magi came and opened the wallets of treasures, as some copies say, and offered milk, frankincense, and gold. And do you see how the truths give expression go, and the consequences of them? These sex, these sex do are concubines, and their children have received gifts. But the concubines have received only the name, and have only been called by Christ's name, and received the few te few texts from the from the sacred scripture, so that if they choose, they can understand the truth by this. But if they prefer not to, but return to Herod, for they are taught to not to return to Herod, but to go to the country by another sea. But if they do not do as they are taught, the gifts are not good to them. Just as their coming would have done the Magi no good if they had returned to Herod, for these same sex, the best the teachings of the teachings of God's oracles in a way that resembles Herod, the resembles Herod's. These then are the eighty concubines sound in scripture, and the individuals listed by generation are those queens, that is, men and patriarchs. But the young girls without number consists of the further philosophies all over the world and the and the ways of life, one presbyterian and not of each individual. For who can count the variety of this world? How many other sects have not gone up have not gone up among the Greeks after the after the four most famous ones which we have mentioned and further after those sex and the ones after them, how many individuals and ideas keep arising of themselves with seeming youth in accordance with the opinion of each? There are some called Pyrrhodians, for example, and many others. Since I have learned of many, I shall give them the, I shall give their names and their opinions in order below, but this is a faction of the ones in the world. And the ones which follow a Greek a Greek sex, as the, as the first of them, I should begin with the opinion and belief of Thales of be, with opinion and belief of Thales of Miletus, for Thales of Miletus himself was born of the seven sages, declared that the primary origin of all things is water, for he says that everything originates from water is soft back into water. Anaximander, the son of Praxiades, also a Milesian say that the infinite is the first principle of all things. For all things originate from this, and all things are resolved into it. Anaximenes, the son of Ephristatos, also a Milesian, 
said that the egg is the first principle of all things, and that everything originates from it is. Anaxagoras, the son of Hegesibulus of Clazomin, said that, said that the, the identical particles are the first principles of all things. Archelaus the naturalist, the son of Apollodorus, some say that, some say the son of Milton, but he was Athenian, says that, say, says that all things are, have originated from earth, for, for this is the first principle of all things, or so he says. Socrates the Aetitis, the son of Sophonicus the Satuary, and Phanatis the midwife, said that the man must mind his own affairs, but nothing more. Phaeresides too, Phaeresides too said that Earth uh, uh, said that Earth uh, came into being from all things. Pythagoras of Samos, the son of Menexarchus, said that God is the unit, and that and that nothing has come into being apart from this. But he said, but he said that the wise must not sacrifice animals to the gods, and must certainly not eat meat or beans or drink wine. He said that ex he said that everything from the moon down from the from the moon down is possible, but that everything above is that, but that everything above the moon is impossible. He said that the sun migrates into into many animals. He also commanded his disciples to maintain silence for five years, and in the end pronounce himself as God. Xenophanes, the son of Octominus from Colophon, said that all things are made from earth, all things are made of earth and water, all things are, so he said, but nothing is true, thus, what is certain is called is not clear, all things, especially invisible things, are matters of opinion, are matters of opinion, Parmenides, the son of Pires, an alien also said that, also said that the infinite is the first principle of all things. Seno if Elia the controversialist. Like the, like the other Seno, he said but he said both that the earth is immovable and that there is and that there is no void. He also said the following that which must be moved is moved either in the place in which is or the or the place in which it is not and it can neither be moved in the place in which it is, nor in the place in which it is not, therefore nothing is moved. Melissus, the son of Itagenes, the Samian, said that everything is one, but that it is by not it is by not nature enduring, all things are potentially destructible. Lepsipus, the Milesian, those though some say that he was an alien, he was a controversialist. He too said that everything is the is in is in the infinite, and that all events take place in imagination and appearance. There are no real events; they are apparent like an ore in the water. Democritus of Abdera, the son of Narmasibus, said that the world is infinite and is situated above a void, but he also said that there is one end of all, and that contentment is best, but that. Pains are the boundaries of evil, and what appears just is not just. The unjust is the opposite of nature. For he said that for he said that laws are an evil invention, and that the wise should not obey, obey laws, but life really. Metrodorus of Chios said that no one, no one understands anything. We have no precise understanding of the things we think we know, and we should not when we should. Pay no heed to our senses, for all things are appearance. Protagoras of, of Abdera, the son of Menander, said that there are no gods, and that God does not exist at all. Diogenes of Smyrna, or some say he was from Kyrene, held that some of same opin held the same opinions of, as Protagoras. Pyro, Pyro of Elis collected of the doctrines of the other sages and wrote objections. To them, to them, to demolish their opinions, to demolish their opinions. He was not satisfied with any doctrine. Empedocles of Arigentum, the son of Meto, introduced fire, earth, water, and air as the and air as the four primal elements, and said that the originality there was enmity between the elements. 
For earlier, they had been separated, he said, but now, as he says, they have been united in friendship. In his opinion, then, there are two first principles and powers, enmity and love, the one of which is unitive, the other divisive. Heraclitus of Heraclitus of Ephesus, the son of Pleso, said that all things come from fire, come from fire and resolve back into fire. Prodicus calls the four elements and then the sun and the and then the sun and the moon. God for he said that the vital principle of all things comes from this. Plato of Athenian Plato the Athenian said that there are gods. There are God, matter and form but that the word is generated, is generated, and mortal, and mortal, while the soul is, ingen is ingenerate, mortal and divine. But there are three parts of the soul, rational, the, sp the spirited, and appetitive. And he said that marriages and wives should be common to all, and that no one should have no should have was sp supposed to himself, but that anyone who wishes ha may have relations with any woman who are willing. Aristippus of Kyrene, he was glutinous and ple pleasure loving, and said that the pleasure is goal is the goal of soul, and that whoever experiences pleasure is happy, but one who never experiences pleasure is thrice wretched, wretched as he says and unfortunate. Theodorus, who is called the Atheist, said that the discussion said that discussion of God is silly, for he believed that there is nothing divine and never arch and therefore urge every, everyone to steal, force for themselves, rob, and not die for their, country, for their countries. For he said that the world is one country, and that only we ha and that and that only the happy man is good, and that the unfortunate man, the unfortunate, must be avoided, must, must be avoided, even if he is wise. And a fool, if he is wealthy and unbeliever, is preferable to such a wise man. Hegesias of Kyrene, this man said that there is no such thing as love or gratitude. They do not they do not exist. One does a favor because he is in need or a favor or confess a benefit because he has suffered something something worse by the conferring it. He also said the, he also said the following Life is profitable for a bad man but dead but dead for a good one. Hence some have called Hence, some have called him the advocate of death. <coughs> Antisthenes, who had a Thracian mother, who had a Thracian mother, but was a Athenian himself, was first a Socrates and then a Kinnik. He said that we must not invite the good deeds of others or the sinful behavior to another to one another and that the walls of a city are vulnerable to the train of, to the trait of within, but the walls of the soul are unshakable and, unbe and unreachable. The organist the Kinnik, who was from Sinope to, who was from Sinope in Pontus, agreed with Antistenus in everything. See, he said that the good is natural to every to every wise man, but that everything else is simply foolishness. Cratus of Thebes is Putia, also a clinic, said that poverty is liberty. Arcesilaus said that the truth is accessible to God alone, but not to a man but not to men. Carniades was of the same opinion of Arche Arcesilaus. Aristotle the son of Nicomachus is said by some he said by some to be a Macedonian from Stagira, but a few say that he was Thracian. He said that there are there are two first principles, God and matter, and that things above the moon are subject to divine providence, but that what is below the moon is not ruled by providence but born alone but born along at random by some unreasoned motion. But he says that there are two words the world above and the world below, and that the world above is immortal while the world below is mortal. And he says that the soul is the entity of the body. Theophrastus of Ephesus had the same opinion as Aristotle. Strato of Lampsacus said that heat is the cause of all things. He said that the, he said that 
the parts of the world are invaded and the everything living is capable of having mind of, of having a mind. Prasi fathers of Rudis had the same opinions as Theophrastus. Christo Kritolos of Basila had the same opinion as opinions as, as Aristotle. Saint of Citium, the Stoic, said that we must not build temples for gods but keep the Godhead in our mind alone in our minds alone, or rather regards regard the mind as God, for it is immortal. We should reconcile the dead to white beasts or fire. We might we may indulge in pedestrian with restraint, but the Satan defend permits all things. The causes of things something sometimes depend on us or sometimes do not depend on us. That is sometimes some things are up to us while some are not some, while some are not. He also said that the soul persists for some time after its separation from the body and called the soul li- long lived spirit but, but said that is certainly not fully immortal for it is resorted to the point of extinction by the length of its existence. Also, he, he says, Cleanthus says, the precepts are the good and noble and he called only the soul of man, the so- and he called only the soul of man and he said that the God the gods are characters in mysteries and holy calls. And he claimed that the sun is a torch and the world is holy and men are initiates and the and the possess are priests of the gods. Perseus thought that the same doctrines as he knew. Chrysippus of Soli wrote infamous laws, for he said that sons must have relations with their mothers and daughters, with their fathers, for the rest agreed with Zeno of Citium. But besides this, he said that we should eat human place. But he said the goal of all is to live pleasantly. Theogenes of Babylon said that all things consist of pleasure. Benitus of Rhodes said that the universe is mortal, is immortal and are an, an, an aging and not definition and poof put what is said about the gods. For he said that the discussion of God is car- is chatter. Posidonius of Apamea said that man's highest, highest god, good, is wealth and health. Athenodorus of Tarsus had the same opinions as Chrysippus, but thought the same doctrine as Zeno. Epicurus, the son of Neocles, who was the who was read in Athens, pursued the life of pleasure, and and, say, and as I said, of him the artist was not ashamed to have relations in public with a licentious woman. He said in his, in his turn that there are two, there are no gods, but that mere chance governs all things. In nothing in the world comes of our own will, not the, not the learning, lack of the lack of education, or anything else, but that all things happen to everyone on un, will, and it is no use to blame anyone. As he says, or to praise anyone, people do not undergo these things to voluntary. But he said that that is not to be feared. As I have said already, he maintained both that everything consists of atoms and that the universe is infinite. And these are the Greek philosophers I have learned of. But there are, may, there are as many orders throughout the Barbarian and Greek parts of Roman realm and the other regions of the world. There are 72 repulsive for his philosophies in the Indian nation, those of those of the gymnosophies, the, Bar- the Brahmans, there, there are the only praiseworthy ones, the pseudo Brahmans, the cops haters, petitioners of obscenity, and those who are past feeling. Because of the great corruption in men and their practice of evil and obscenity, I consider it unnecessary and not worth you my while to speak specifically of the Indian sex, uh, Indian sex, and uh, distinguishing things they do. For again, it is said that there are six different sects in Imedia, as many as as many in Ethiopia, and among the Persians, or in Parthia, Elamites, Caspia, Germany, and Samatia, or however many there are among the Downy, or among the Sixi, Amazons, Lassi, Iberians, Bosporides, Kelly, Chinese, and the other nations. There are any number of different laws, philosophies, and sects, and a countless throng of verities. For instance, Ch- Chinese men stay at home and wife and anoint themselves and do womanly things in readiness for their wives. In reverse, the women cut their, ha- cut their hair short, wear mats under clothing, 
and do all the field level but among the Kelly on the contrary those who do a field are held by the laws to be prosperity and how many mysteries and rights do the do the Greek have for example the women who go to the Megara and those who celebrate the celebrate the Thesmophoria are different from each other there are and there are as many as others as others Elepsinian mysteries of Demeter and Persephone in at Elepsis and the serving goings on in the sanctuaries there and clothing of women to put it politely in drab in cakes but the burger and the and the basket the wool the symbol and the potion prepared in the in the beaker and just as many others the mysteries of Archimbox in Vitia and others on the east isthmus those of Asamas and Melichertes, the child of Aeno, and all the men who turn the palus over, and the women who celebrate the option rites, and the men who serve Rhea by casting male children and living their lives without male organs, certainly unable to be men any longer, but without having we become women. And other and other Dionysians, those who are initiated to be to into the curators and the distribution of meat who are crowned with snakes and raised their cry of wa wa either they are still calling on that if who was deceived by snake by the snake or else they are summoning the snake to the impostor in ancient Hebrew for the plain interpretation if means the woman but in the ancient language native Hebrew speakers call the snake Hava Hawa and what uh, and what shall I say for the time will fail me if I tell for if of the countless differences in people's various practices as well as in their virtues, virtue and their vice, as many others in Egypt who are initiates of conus and make us of putting iron collars in on their necks, having their hair loose on top, wearing filthy, absurd clothing and pinching their nostrils as though for those rings at each festival of conus in the town called Astus. This is a small this a small town in Egypt, the chief village of the so called dome of the so called gnome of four so pitis. This is how they follow the unclean rites, the general assembly of the deluded persons and the main instruction of the Trump with ecstatics, if you please. But these people are hopelessly lost. But just many but just as many of the others. For instance, the cut of Harpocrates and their boutiques, or little town of Putus itself. There are already elders in years, but are children in behavior, and are compelled by the demon to enact the imaginary fences of Horus at the second month. But if but even city but each citizen, even an elder already for a long years, together with young women of the same persuasion, or other ages from youth up, are supposedly priests of this Horus of Hippocrates, there has are safe and there shamelessly carry the slaves as well as a cooks, a cooks and children's emblem, willingly taking part in the games of the demons initiates lodging melon foolishly and cast off restraint, and cast off all restraint. First they smear their faces with porridge, flour and other vulgarities, and then they dip their face into in a boiling cauldron and deceitfully murders the cross with their faces of a support for a supposed miracle and they wipe and they wipe the stuff off their faces with their hands and give some to anyone who asks to partake of for their health sake and as, and as a remedy for the for their ills but i but if i were described to describe the woman aesthetics in Memphis and Heliopolis who bewitch themselves with drums and flutes and the dancing girls and the performers of the of the trilineal festival and the woman at Betis and the temple of Minutis who have abandoned shame and womanliness to a burden for the tongue or what a long composition I could commit myself by adding the countless number itself to the number I have already given. For even though I were to take on the enormous task, I would leave a comprehension of these things incomplete, since scripture says that 
the young woman with top number, the guards or says and Pelusium, at Bubastis uh, and Abirus, the tempest of Antino Antinos, uh, the mysterious city. <coughs> The rights of Barbetis, those of Men Mendicius God, the all the best there is in Busiris, all the ones in Sebenitos, and the ones in Diospolis, where they some where they sometimes perform rites for the ass in the name of Seth. Octivo, if you please, with while other while others worship Titambo or Hecate or other or others initiates of initiates of Senevi, or others of Termuti, Order of Isis, and how many things the, of, the, of this sort can be said? If one tries to name them specifically, it it will consume a great deal of time. The entire subject will be someone will sum up by the first young woman without number. But again, I omit the names of many other mysteries, heresiarchs, and fermenters, or schism. What leaders are called Magusians and the, by the Persians, by prophets, by the Egypts, Egyptians, and who preside over their signs and tempers, and those Babylonian Magi who are called Gazarians, Sages, and Encanters, and the Indians, Evile, so called, and Brahmans, and the Greeks, Heliopans, and the Temple Custodians, and a throng of kings, and the lack of countless of other, other philosophers. As I said then, there are people in Persia called Magusians who detest idols but worship planets, fire, the moon, and the sun. And in Greece again, there are others called Abian Musi who drink mares, mares milk and live entirely in wild country. And as many of all this as the human mind can take in, which are called great and regard and possibility, there are many as men there are as many different young women without number, some praiseworthy, some not, some making their practice as of asceticism out of their own heads or uh, informing their own rule, appear in public with long hair, others like sackcloth openly to all to ho other holy Britain sit in sackcloth and as at home. Still others from their youth and for the youth, and to their burden with extra fast and rules for the sake of a perfect conscience towards the bridegroom. But the other, but others, as I said, do not act the parts of youths rightly of but arbitrarily from some preconception in contradiction to the truth. Sarius, who has recently died in the hill country around Jerusalem, would never pray with anyone, but for the same reason, he freely undertook to handle the co and constant threat, the second mysteries, although he, he was a layman, and there was another, and he was once one of those who seemed to have led the finest kind of life and lived in the hermitage or in a monastery in Egypt, he and another man near Sinai, who were made young by dreaming that he, they had received bishop's orders and undertook the, and undertook to sit on thrones and perform episcopal functions, functions, or others, and not a few of them have dealt from youthfulness to make themselves inox, if you please, contrary to the commandments. But others who are, whose origins are orthodox seem to behave like youths and fail to together their own congregations or contrary to the canons. Moreover, the Rebaptist, the people who come, to them, to, who come to them from the Aris, Arians, if you please, with the, ju the judgment of an ecumenical council. For because the Arian and the Catholic lady are still intermixed, and many are orthodox but are joined with the Arianizers from hypocrisy, the matter, as I said, has not yet been settled by a judgment, not until there can be a separation of the blessed sect, and then its sentence will be he will be determined. Of the people who are baptized in this way by the own relative, I have heard that one is a presbyter in Lycia, and there are others as well who each pray by themselves and never with anyone else, and others were slaves, clerks, contrary to the ordinance of the church. And so, at the close of the entire work, I have said that those who are young in their own way to suit their own tastes, who taste and are without number, but no means for good, provide, provide, to practice the various forms of wisdom, judgment, courage, prudence, and righteousness, order of this act, young, more and preservely make themselves 
strangers to the truth, so that there is no number of them. But the one doth herself, the Holy Virgin, confess that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, a perfect Father, a perfect Son, and a, and a perfect Holy Spirit. She confessed that the Trinity is quite essential, and that the Trinity is not an identity, but that the Son is truly begotten of the Father, and the Holy Spirit is not different from the Father and the Son, but the Trinity is everlasting, never, never needing addition, never needing addition, and containing no, no subordination but reduced to one unity and one sovereignty of our God the Father. And all things have been made by this Trinity of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, whilst these things did not exist, and they are not contemporaneous with God and were not in being before Him, they were brought from non-being non into being by the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. This Father, Son, and Holy Spirit has always forsaked to appear in visions with saints, as each was able to receive the vision in accordance with the gift which had been given him by the Godhead. This gift was granted to each of those who were deemed worthy, sometimes to see the Father as each was able, sometimes to hear his voice as well as he was able, when he said by the mouth of Isaiah, Lo, my behold, lo, my beloved servant shall understand. This is the voice of the Father. And when David saw the ancient of this, this a vision of the Father. And again, when he says in the prophet, I have multiplied the visions and been portrayed by hands of the prophets, this is the voice of the Son. And when in Ezekiel the Spirit of God took me and brought me out unto the plain, this reverts to the Holy Spirit. And there are many things of this kind that could be said. I have mentioned parts of a few of them in passing and quote the two texts to show what the church is like. But there are a million and more like them in the sacred scriptures of the Old and New, Te and the New Testaments. And we find the scriptures that the Lord himself formed Adam's body and breathed the breath of life into him to make a living soul for him. God himself, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the one God had gave the law of gave the law to Moses. The prophets were sent by the same God had. He himself is our God, the God of Jews and Christians, and has called those Jews to justification who do not deny our Lord Jesus at Jesus at friend, and saves all who live who live by his truth through faith and do not deny the truth by the proclamation of God's true gospel doctrine. For the only begotten has come, come. And this, what, and this is what our mother, the church, is like. The calm heaven is of peace. The good cherry dolen of the blossoming of the vine, which bears a cluster of big blessing for us, and delegates us, and delegates us to the drink that suits all English, the blood of grass and mixed through. And there are there, and, and there are texts to show that grass was truly word of Mary, the ever virgin. By the Holy Spirit's agency, not by the seed of a man. No, he took his body, he took his body from the Holy Virgin herself, and not in appearance, in appearance, truly flesh, truly body, with bones, sinews, and everything of ours. He was not different from ourselves except from the glory of his holiness and Godhead, and the holiness of and righteousness of his vessel. He had the fullness of everything without sin, and possessed a true human soul. A true human mind, not that, not that I, not that I affirm the concreteness of the mind, as others do, but he possessed them all unstained by sin, a mouth that did not lie, lips that spoke no guilt, a heart not inclined to rebellion, and mind not perfected to wrong, flesh that did not, that, that did not, did not indulge in fleshly pleasure. He was perfect God on high. He was perfect God from on high, but had not come to dwell in a man, he himself became holy incarnate, without changing his nature, but including his own manhood together with his Godhead. He truly entered the virgin's womb, who was carried from the usual time, and was born without shame, unstained, undent, undented, to the birth, birth canals. He was thus, was embraced by Simeon and Anna, was born in Mary's arms. She learned to walk, went on journeys, became a boy, became a boy, and grew up in the in full position of a of a 
human characteristics. His age was counted uh, in years and his gestation in, in months, for he was made of a woman made, un made under the law. He came to the Jordan and was baptized by John. This was not because he did not cleansing, but cleansing, but in keeping with his manhood under the law, not to confuse what was right, and so that all righteousness might be fulfilled, and as he himself said, and to show that he had taken two flesh to manhood, he went down into the water to give, not to receive, to provide regeneratively, not for, not from need, to enlighten the water, and empower it to become a type of those who would be perfected in it. Thus, those who truly believe in him and hold the faith of the true word of the truth will learn that he had truly, be had truly become man and truly been baptized, and would therefore come themselves with his ascent, receive the power of his descent, and be illumined by his illumination. This is the fulfillment of the oracle in the prophet about the chance of power, about the giving of the power of salvation, of the bread which is, take, which is taken from Jerusalem, and of the strength of the water. But the power of the bread and, st and the strength of the water are here made strong in are here uh, made strong in Christ, so that not bread, but the power of uh, of bread will be our power. In, in st indeed, the bread is food, not th but the power in it. The, but, but the power in it is for generation of life. And the water is strength, not merely so that the water will, will cleanse us, but so that by the strength of the water, sanctifying power may, may become ours for the, for the achievement of our salvation through faith, work, hope, the celebration of the mysteries, and the naming of the Trinity. He came up. He came up out of the Jordan and heard the Father's voice, for the Father bore witness. In the hearing of the in the hearing of the disciples who were present to show who is who it was from whom he was testifying, and as I have said in many sects, the Holy Spirit descended in the form of a dove to prevent the whole Trinity being to an identity, since the Spirit appears in his own person. The Spirit settled and came upon him, so that the object of his testimony be seen to testify that his holy place is dear to the Father and the Holy Spirit and approved by them to declare the Father's approval of the Son's incarnation, to show that the Son is a true Son and in fulfillment of the Scripture. And after these things he appeared on, the, on the earth and consulted with men. He came up out of the Jordan, was plainly and truly tempted by the devil in the wilderness, and grew hungry afterwards in keeping with it, and keeping with, and because of the reality of his human nature. He chose disciples, preached truth, and healed disease. He slept, grew hungry, made journeys, performed miracles, raised the dead, gave sight to the, to the blind, strengthened the lame, and palsied. He preached the gospel, the truth, the kingdom of heaven, and the loving kindness of himself, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. He truly underwent the prison for us in his place, and perfect manhood, he truly suffered on the cross in company with his Godhead. Though, he, though this was not changed to possibility, but was impossible and unterrible, the two inferences can clearly be perceived. Christ suffered for us in the flesh, but he remained impossible in his Godhead. It is not that the manhood is a separate thing, and the Godhead a separate thing, and the, the Godhead accompanies the manhood, and yet, because of the purity and incomparability of its essence, does not suffer. Christ suffered in the flesh, however, and was put to death in the flesh, though he lives forever in Godhead and raises the dead. But his body was to be buried and remained lifeless for the three days without breath and motion, wrapped in the sword, lay in the tomb, sat in the side and by the stone, and by the seal of those who had imposed it. Yet the Godhead was not shut in, was not shut in, the Godhead was not buried, it descended to the underworld with the holy soul, took the captive souls from there, broke the sting of death, set the bars and the unbreakable bolts, but its own authority loosed the prince of Hades. It ascended with the soul, for the soul has not been left in hell, 
now had a flesh and corruption. The Godhead had raised it of the Lord himself, the divine word, and the Son of God, had risen with the soul, body, and entire vessel, with the face at last unity with the Spirit. His body itself was spirit, though it had once been tangible, had been subjected to scourging by the free consent of the Godhead, had consented to temptation by Satan, and had experienced hunger, sleep, weariness, grief, and sorrow. The holy body, the holy body itself was at last united with the Godhead, though the Godhead had always been with the, with the body, with the holy body, which underwent such sufferings. For Christ had risen and united his body with himself as one spirit, one unity, one glory, his own, his own one Godhead. For he truly appeared and was handled by Thomas, ate and drank with the apostles and consulted with them, for forty days and forty nights, indeed, he entailed when dogs were buried, were back, and after entering, displayed the sinews and bones, the mouth of the nails, and the mouth of the lens. For it was an, indeed the body itself, since it had since it had been joined to one unity and one Godhead, with no further expectation of, of suffering, no further death, as the holy apostle says. Christ is risen, he did, he, he died no more, death has no more dominion over him. What had been possible remains forever impossible, the divine nature with body, soul, and all its human nature. He is very God, and ascended into heavens, and taken his seat at the Father's right hand and glory, not by discarding his body, but by uniting it to the Spirit in the perfection of one Godhead. Yes. Arks, just as our own bodies, though sound as natural bodies for now, will be raised spiritual, though sound in corruption for now, will be raised in corruption, the sound in mortality for now will be raised in immortality. Now, if such is, if such is the case with our own bodies, how much more with the holy, inexpressible, incomparable, pure world united with God? the one body in its final uniqueness. The Apostle also t testifies to this and says, even if we knew Christ after the flesh, now know we him, now know we him no more. It is not, it is not that he separated his flesh from his Godhead, he displayed it, and it as it was and united with his Godhead, no longer fleshly but spiritual, as the scripture says, According to the spirit of holiness after the resurrection for the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, at the same time he displayed this flesh divine, <coughs> impossible, and yet having suffered, and having and having been buried, have risen, having risen, having ascended in glory, coming to judge the quick and the dead, as the scripture truly says, of his kingdom there shall be no end. For our mother, the Holy Church herself, believes as her as has as has been truly preached to her and enjoyed upon her, that we shall up that we shall all fall asleep and be raised with his body, with his soul, with our whole vessel, that each may receive according to that he has done. It is true that the resurrection of the dead, eternal judgment, the kingdom of heaven, and repose are in store for what the righteous and the inheritance of the faithful and angelic coil is awaiting those who kept, who have kept all the faith, purity, hope, and the laws of amendments. And it has been proclaimed, certified, and believed that they shall rise to life eternal, as we read in the Gospels. For whatever the apostle and the old scripture says is true, even though it is taken in a different sense, by unbelievers and those who, mis who misunderstand it. But this is our faith, this is our honor, this is our mother of the church who serves the two who serves to faith, who is trying to hope, who, and who by Christ's love is made perfect in the confession of faith, the mysteries, and the cleansing power of baptism. For she says, Go, baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Baptized, yeah, that is, in the name of the divine trinity, for the name admits of no distinction, 
God is preached and proclaimed to us as a word in the law, the prophets, the gospels, and the apostles in the Old and New Testaments, and is believed, and is believed in as one Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Godhead is in no identity but truly a perfect trinity. The Father is perfect, the Son is perfect, the Holy Spirit is perfect, one Godhead, one God, to whom be glory, to whom be glory, honor and might, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. This is the faith, the post of the post of our salvation. This is the state of the truth, this Christ virgin and harmless dawn, harmless dawn, this life, hope, and the assurance of immortality. But I beg you, readers, to pardon my mediocrity and the feebleness of my very limited mind, torpid and ill as it is from heavy dose of the sex poison, like the mind of a man for me eating and no sitting for the for the experience I have been brought to use in referring to certain persons with harshness or severity or calling them offenders, scum, dubs, or frauds. Though I do not really, readily make for fun of anyone, I have had to dispose of them with expressions like this to dispel certain persons' notions. Otherwise, they might think that since I have publicly disclosed the things to the sex, the sexy, the sexy, and do, I have some measure of agreement with the heresy of each of the sex. I also compared a brief poem at the beginning of the work to give advance assurance of this and ask for pardon, so that no one would suppose that I turn to mockery because I am beaten and fault me for unpleasantness. In the poem one also indicated with sex I would in, in the poem I also indicated with sex I would, I would cover into how many volumes I had divided the whole work and how many sex which and which I and which ones I had spoken in I had spoken of in each volume. Here again I remind us of these things to do the readers good at every point. There are three volumes and seven sections. In volume one, there are forty-six sects enumerated by name and arranged consecutively throughout the volume from the first and the second until the last. For the volume one contains forty-six sects in, the, in three sections. Volume two contains twenty-three sects in two sections. But volume three, eleven in two. I beg. I beg and plead with all of you who are sharing my labor and reading and reading with patient effort, reap the reap the benefit, but put the sex odious doctrines out of your minds. I have not met the public to do harm, but to do good, and to make sure that no one falls under the spell. And as you uh, as you go through the whole work, or even parts of it, pray for me. And may request that God will give me a portion in the holy and only Catholic and Apostolic Church and the true life giving and saving faith, and deliver me from every sect. And if in my humanity I cannot reach the full measure of the incomprehensible, incomprehensible and ineffable Godhead, but I am still pressed to over its defense and compelled to speak for God in human terms, but I have been led by Derek to do so. You yourselves pardon me, for God does, and once more, pray that the Lord may give me the portion in His holy faith which I have asked for, the only faith, free of all inconsistency, and grant the pardon of my own sins, which are many, in Christ Jesus our Lord, through whom and with whom be, the glo be glory to the Father with, with the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. I have spoken. I have spoken briefly of the tenets of the faith of this only Catholic Church and harmless dove, her husband's only wife, as the scripture says, One is my dove, has like was spoken of the countless young woman without number, the consciality of the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, the fleshly and perfect advent of Christ and other parts of the faith. But as to her ordinances, I must once more particularly describe in a few words as many ordinances as have actually been observed and being and are being observed in the church 
Some by commitment, others by volume, voluntary acceptance for God rejoices in the excellence of His church. And to begin with, with the basis and as it were, the foundation in the church in is the virginity which is practiced and observed by many and held in honor. But for most monks and nuns, the single life is the concomitant of, the, of this virginity. After virginity is continence which shakes out on the same course, next comes widowhood with all soberness and a pure life. Following these orders, lawful wedlock is held in, his, in high esteem, especially marriages to one partner only and with the observance of the commandments. But if a person's wife or husband dies, and he or she wants a spouse, it is unlawful to marry a second wife or husband after the death of the first husband or wife. But the crown, or as it were, the mother and the and begatrice of all this, is the holy priesthood which is drawn mostly for virgins from virgins, but if not from virgins, from once married men. If there are not enough once married men to serve, it is composed of men of who abstain, who abstain from relations with their own wives, or widowers, who had only one wife. We are beginning with the Episcopal order and including presbyters, deacons, and subdeacons. It is not per it is not permissible to receive a twice married person for priesthood in the church, even if he is continent or a widower. Then after this priesthood comes the order of readers which is composed of all the orders that is of virgins once married men the continent widowers and men who are still in lawful well lock if necessary even of men who have married a second wife after the death of the first for a reader is not a priest he is a, he is like a scribe of blue the is also appointed only to assist women for modesty's sake for modesty's sake if there is a need because of baptism or an inspection of their bodies. Then after this come exorcists and translators from one language to another, either in readings, either in readings or in segments. But finally there are undertakers who exhort the bodies of those who fall asleep and doorkeepers and the whole good order of the lady of the apostles' authority services are set for the fourth day of the week, the eve of the Sabbath, and of the Lord's day, but we fast till the this hour of, of, of the, on the fourth day and the eve of the Sabbath, because the Lord ha was arrested at the beginning of the fourth day or crucified on the eve of the Sabbath. And the apostles taught us to keep fast on the days and fulfillment on the, of the sea. When the bridegroom is taken from them, that shall they, that shall they fast on those days. Fasting not enjoined upon us as a favor to him who suffered for us, but so, but so that we may confess that the Lord's passion to which he consented for us has become our salvation, and that our fast may be acceptable for God and for, 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 to God for our sins. And this fasting is observed throughout the year in the Holy Catholic Church. I mean fasting till the ninth hour on the fourth day of the eve of Sabbath. With, with the sole exception of the full Pentecost of fifties, during which neither kneeling nor fasting is enjoined, but service are held in the early morning hours as on the Lord's day, in place of those at the ninth hour, uh, at the ninth hour on the fourth day and the eve, and the eve of the Sabbath. But moreover, there is no fasting or kneeling during the fifth days of Pentecost, as I as I said or on the day of the Bivani, when the Lord was born in the flesh, even though it may be for the day or the eve of the Sabbath. But the church has said, but the church has critics fast, with a good will every day, except the Lord's day and Pentecost and holy conti and whole continual features. This, this, holy Catholic, this holy Catholic church regards all the Lord's day, regards all the Lord's days, as days for enjoyment, however, and hold services at dawn, but does not fast, it is inappropriate to fast on a Lord's day. The church also observes the four days. The church also observe, observes the forty days, because before the seven days of the Holy Passover, we 
bit fast every day, but never fast on Lord's days or on the October 14th day before Easter. All of the lady and drive fair every day, I mean by taking only bread, salt and water in the evening during the six days of the Passover. Moreover, the zealous do two, three and four times more than this, and some fast the entire week with until until cook crow at the dawn of the Lord's day and keep feed on all the six days. All again the host services from the noon hour and until evening during this the six days and on the whole forty day before the Passover, but in some places the whole field is only from the dawn of the day after the fifth until the eve of the Sabbath and the Lord's Day. In some places the liturgy is performed at an hour of the fifth day at the, at the close of the vigil, but they are still on the driver. In other places there is no liturgy except at the, on, on the Lord's Day when the vigil closes at the, at the vigil closes at about Kuko on the day of resurrection. And with the first assembly on the principal day of the Passover, as has been prescribed, all but the other mysteries, baptism and the private mysteries, are performed in accordance with the tradition of the Gospel and the Apostles. They make memorials for the dead by name, offering prayers and the liturgy. There are always hymns at dawn and prayers at dawn in this holy church, as well as psalms and prayers and lamb like thing and at lamb lighting time. Some of the church monks lives, live in the cities, but some reside in monasteries and entire far from the world. Some, if you please, see fit to wear their hang their hair long the hair long as a custom of their own devising, though the gospel did not command this, as the apostles did not allow it, for the holy apostle Paul has forbidden this style. But there are other excellent disciplines which are observed in this Catholic Church. I mean abstinence from meat of all kinds, for for animals, but fish, eggs, and cheese, and various other customs, since each shall receive his reward according to his level. And some abstain from the all this, while some while some abstain only from for for animals, but eat birds and the rest. Others also abstain from birds, but eat eggs and fish and fish. Others. Do not egg at, do not even eat eggs while order it only fish others abstain from fish from fish too, but eat only cheese while others do not even eat cheese. And at the present time, whilst the order abstain from bread and orders from food and veg, from fruits and vegetables, many more sleep on the ground and others do not and orders do not even wear shoes. Others wear sackcloth under this clothing. The ones who wear it properly for fear to repentance. It is inappropriate to appear, to appear publicly in sackcloth, as some do, and as I said, it is also inappropriate to appear in public wearing collars, as some t- as I prefer to. But most monks abstain from the betting. But some monks have renounced their means of livelihood, but devise life like tasks, life tasks for themselves, which are not troublesome, so that they will not let an idle live another life or eat at others' expense. Most are exercising psalms and constant prayers, and readings and recitations by heart of the holy scriptures. The holy custom of of hospitality, kindness. And almsgiving to all has been have, has been prescribed for all members of this holy Catholic and apostolic church. The church has baptized him, has baptized him in Christ in place of the obsolete circumcision, and the rest in the great Sabbath instead of the instead of on instead of on the lesser Sabbath. The church refrains from fellowship with any sect. It forbids fornication. Adultery, licentiousness, idolatry, murder, or law breaking, magic, sorcery, astrology, palmistry, the observation of omens, charms, and amulets, the things called philatries, and forbids theatrical shows, hunting horse, hunting horse races, musicians, 
and all speaking or in slander, all caring and blasphemy, injustice, covetousness, and usury, it also accept of those by regards them as the lowest of the law, it accepts offerings from people who are not wrongdoers and lawbreakers, but love gratuitously. It continually enjoins prayers to God at the appointed night hours and after the close of the day, with all frequency, favor, and bowing of the knee. In some places they also hold service of the, on the Sabbath, but not everywhere, but the command of the Savior the best refrain entirely from swearing, abuse, and cursing, certainly, certainly from, for, from living, as far as this is in the power, but more sell the goods and give to the poor. Such is the character of this holy mother of ours, together with her faith, as we have described it, and, is, and these are the ordinances of the ordinances that are obtained in her. For this is the character of the church, and by the will of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, it is drawn from the law, the prophets, the apostles, and the evangelists, like a good antidote and compounded of many perfumes for the head of, it, of its users. There are the features of this church, bride of Christ. This is her glory, the covenant of her in the, the covenant of her inheritance, and the will of her bridegroom and heavenly King, our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom, with whom, we glory, honor, and might to the Father with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. All the brethren who are with me, all the brethren who are with me, great your honors especially Anatolis who talks with much labor and the utmost goodwill has been to transcribe and correct to the word against this act, I mean the eighty and short hand nuts. His most honored fellow, Deacon Hippatius, also greet you most copied, most copied the transcription for nuts and to quarks of papyrus. Please pray, please pray for them, my most honored and truly beloved Britain. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ in His grace, and its truth in accordance with His with His government, be with you all, my most scholarly beloved Britain. Amen.